early part of the 1970s had not been kind to the Franklin Pierce men's basketball team. From 1971 to 1977, the program had won just 27 games against 90 losses. But following the 1976-77 season, Bruce Kirsch was promoted to head coach of the program, and its fortune was about to change. My goals and objectives were, um, you know, to start this program, bring in good quality kids, and over time hopefully have some success. The coach sold his vision of the program to future standouts such as Joe Delancey, Jeff Stevenson, and in particular, Larry Leach. When we successfully recruited Larry, I knew he was a very good player. But what I didn't know, when you can't learn that, you know, watching him play a few times and having some very brief conversations with him, was uh, how strong his leadership ability was and um, how committed he was as a student athlete. One of the things that coming here is immediately I told the coach, I, I don't plan on losing. Um, we lost in high school. I think I lost in high school in three years on varsity four games, okay, and our records were like 28 and 1 or 28 and 2. We never lost. If we lost, it was in the state finals. With the new recruits in place, along with veteran presences such as Greg Trotman and Patrick Dean, the Ravens were ready to make a statement in the 1978-79 season. We immediately gelled um, when I got here. Trotman, who was the, he was a sophomore at the time, um, it was kind of like he was looking for help, and we provided him that help. The team went 19-9, and captured its first Mayflower Conference championship, and reached the NAIA District 5 tournament before coming up just short against Southern Maine in the title game. We were, we were very hurt because we knew we had more talent than they had, but they had a better team. Despite the loss, the bar was raised, and the Ravens would not have to wait long for a district title. The following season, 1979-80, Franklin Pierce reeled off 25 straight wins, claimed its second straight conference title, and brought home the District 5 championship for a trip to the NAIA National Tournament at historic Kemper Arena in Kansas City. That season touched off a string of six NAIA District Championships for the program from 1979 through 1988. It took me a long time to... Uh appreciate and understand what we had done and the, and the value of it and um, um, the experience those six trips out there was just incredible. But more importantly, it touched off a string of outstanding student athletes at the school and friendships that would last a lifetime. I, I came here as a basketball player. I left here as a man. Um, the friendships that have lasted, Don Pike, Mike Chapman, Bruce, Walter, I met my wife here. Uh, you can't replace that, okay? It's, it's impossible. And all that supersedes basketball.